Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a technical service bulletin on a 2007 Mazda 3. Now, the reason why I'm doing these TSBs is for you guys to use them as a lead magnet. And even if you don't know how to do the programming, you can always book me to help you with that installation. Okay, so it's a good way to get leads in the door. So here's the error code for this vehicle. It's a P2817. Okay, and these are some of the symptoms that you're going to be getting. Um, rough idle, intermittent lack of power, uh, engine light comes on and you have the P2177 and uh, P2177 and P2187. And this is caused by delayed fuel pressure buildup from the high pressure fuel pump. And the two main reasons are the drive current from the PCM is not enough for some fuel pumps and some fuel pumps have a slower response rate. And these are the different vehicles that this TSB applies to. Okay. Now, in terms of your setup, um, I would project with the installation of the software and the programming, you can allocate maybe 45 minutes to an hour. And this is all coming from the TSB. So it's Reboot IDS. IDS is their software. We're going to be using RJ2534, so that's not going to really be applicable. Um, step number two, it says to reprogram the PCM to the latest calibration by following the module reprogramming procedure. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking for in the software. For vehicles built before April 7th that are experiencing the conditions as noted, um, check for a warranty vehicle in inquiry for the high pressure fuel pump. So you can do that on behalf of your client. Step four, after performing PCM reprogramming procedure, verify the repair by starting the engine to make sure that there is no uh, mill illumination or above abnormal warning lights present. And lastly, fill out the authorized modification. So this is just basically a confirmation uh, label or sticker that you know you can uh, put to your uh, client's records, okay? Um, now, a few things about Mazda um, that you need to consider. They only allow you to do flash programming on PCM modules, okay? Um, for 2018 and later, sixth generation models is a slightly different software. And for the 2017 and earlier modules, we're going to be using MMP, which stands for Mazda Module Programming. Okay? Now, before you uh, get into programming, it's important to know that your cost. So for 72 hours, you can pay 50 bucks. For a 30 day subscription, it's about 95 bucks. And for a one-year subscription, it's it's nine hundred dollars. Okay, so that's what you can consider for your cost. Um, if you guys are new to programming and want me to do it, you can always go to my website, you know, or you can try it yourself. But what I want to do now is I actually want to give you a, a clip of this procedure and give you a couple things to consider when you're programming. Okay, so first things first, when you're programming with Mazda, okay, um, Mazda is not, let's say, compatible if you have other OEM softwares installed on your computer, okay? The, the ones that I know are compatible are, I believe, Toyota, Nissan, um, Honda, Hyundai, and I think Subaru, okay? Um, Han, uh, this software works well with those manufacturers. So I always tell people, um, if you're gonna start fresh and get into programming, get a uh, laptop that has, you know, maybe one terabyte of hard drive space, and then that way you can do something called partitioning. Partitioning is basically when you uh, make that one partition into like four and that way you can have you know your Europeans on one hard drive you can have your Asian uh, on on the second hard drive and so forth and that way you're not gonna have anything uh, conflicting with each other okay um, another thing that might be noteworthy is when you are flash programming uh, vehicles that are let's say 2019 and newer that uses a cloud-based software 
called um, MDRS, I believe, MD, MDARS, and um, this requires an IDS software subscription. Uh, it's a yearly commitment of 900 bucks, okay? So that's for the newer vehicles. Now, with this situation, um, the person actually doing this procedure is a 65-year-old retired nurse who's helping her grandson, or actually, no, son-in-law, I apologize. And um, yeah, I walked her through it. So she's actually doing this right now. And according to the TSB, we're supposed to select the module uh, programming, and that's what we're doing. Self-test is just basically a read and erase uh, function, like for error codes. Pat's function is um, for any immobilizer-related uh, uh, special functions, okay? And if you guys haven't noticed, this is pretty much the same software that Ford uses in terms of its interface. Okay, and that's that's kind of why you can't have, this doesn't gel with Ford software because it's it's using the same like DLL files and stuff like that. Okay, so um, let me see if I can just speed this up a bit for you guys. All right, let's see. So we're selecting uh, the PCM and then with this software, after you select something, on the lower right-hand corner, there's going to be like a blue uh, checkbox button that you can click to continue. Okay, let me speed it up. All right, so a later calibration is available. Do you want to program the PCM? We're going to go ahead and click uh, yes. All right, establish an internet connection. Com then select confirm. We're going to click confirm. All right, please wait. All right, you're about to perform uh, a procedure module programming application you purchased. The reason for this programming may pertain to a field service action, which was um, our case, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and continue. All right, let me just speed this up a bit. All right, ensure vehicle battery is good, run self-test. So their self-test is their diagnostics. All right, the vehicle must be blah. Please wait. All right, so run this up. So set the ignition switch to off. And then once we do that, we're gonna click OK at the bottom. All right, switch the ignition back on. Eraser in progress, please wait. All right, so now we're programming. All right, set the ignition switch to the off. All right, it's gonna finish. Put it back on, switch it off, and then we're gonna print this out, just like the TSB said. And that's pretty much it. All right, so there you have it, guys. Um, that's how you do the programming on it. And as I said before, if you're new, uh, and what assistance, feel free to go to my website, autelltech.co.za, and click the J2534 Training and Consulting Service. Till then, I'll see you guys next time, and have a great week. Take care. Bye.